As the current chairman of Greenfleet, um, it's my pleasure on behalf of the board, management and the staff to welcome you here on this occasion in Greenfleet's 20th anniversary. It's an absolute delight to see so many people here and have given up of your time to come and help, help us celebrate this significant milestone. From very humble but enthusiastic beginnings and considerable hard work by many, by many people over the 20 years, Greenfleet has evolved to become the preeminent and highly regarded leader in the Australian voluntary carbon market. When an organisation survives and grows over 20 years, there are many people to thank for their contribution to its success. Too many to acknowledge individually. However, without diluting the efforts of all those people, I think it's appropriate on this occasion to specifically acknowledge a few people. Henry O'Cleary, and I think he's with us tonight, was a driving force in founding of the Greenfleet organisation. The stalwarts of our organisation, David Lamb and Tom Roper, they have been with Greenfleet since almost the beginning and they are still active today and sit on our board. Tom is here this evening and many of you already know Tom and have, have met him. David, unfortunately, is an apology. Uh, he's currently... Uh, on an overseas trip, which he told us he planned years ago, so we'll accept that, that apology. And of course, a special acknowledgement to our loyal, forward-thinking and environmentally concerned supporters, both individual and corporates, who have underpinned Greenfleet's success. Without their committed financial support, there would be no Greenfleet. Greenfleet's core business is still planting trees to offset carbon emissions However, the way Greenfleet goes about its business has changed significantly. The ability to move within a changing business environment, particularly as a not-for-profit, and to be successful does not come by chance. I would therefore like to take this opportunity to also thank the current board, management and staff, and our external advisors for their efforts over recent years in helping to set up Greenfleet for the future. Again, thank you for your attendance and I encourage you to join us on our exciting and increasingly important journey over the next 20 years. I'll now hand back to Wayne, who's been busting to tell you about all the things that we're doing in the future. <laughs>